it's me, Asher, and today I'm going to be showing you my top three favorite toppings to put on almost anything. Let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm adding the garlic to what we're going to be making first, which is a onion bell pepper topping. Now, as you can see, we stir around the garlic first for about a minute to get it browner, and it helps it cook up for when you eat it. So, now we add in the onions. Uh, so, I would usually cook these for about five minutes. It gets them brown and tastes really good, better. Um, with the bell pepper, which will also be brown when we add those in. And so as you can see, the bell pepper are now, I mean, the onions are all brown now, sorry. And now we're adding the bell pepper, so. Yeah, okay, so now the bell pepper are brown, and that means that they are about done. Now I'll cook all this for about 5 to 10 minutes. All this, just this one thing. So now we're going to add it onto this piece of bread, and it goes well with it. You aren't going to see me eat it, but... We're just adding it on, and it tastes really good. Um, I would re recommend this to put it on um, sandwiches and um, uh, burritos as a topping. So this next topping, we add garlic, we put butter in the same, and now we add in cilantro. Or, I mean, not cilantro, it's like a, it's one of the green things that you buy at Costco, the big things of it. I don't know what it's called. But um, it's pretty much just that. And uh, now we got it all cooked up, and as you can see, it shrinks. That was been very fast. That one you would cook for about three, four minutes, and you cut it up really small. But now I'm adding it onto the toast, and all this will be eaten together uh, with my very last topping, and it is delicious. I ate it for lunch uh, yesterday because I'm recording this video and uploading it at different times. But I ate it for lunch yesterday, and it was amazing. But the next thing is ground beef. Now you can literally put this on almost anything. I know it might sound weird, but after you get it like this, after it's done, it tastes good on all, anything. Burritos, sandwiches, soup, you can put it on pizza, you can put it on so many things. And so now we just add it onto this piece of bread. So that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. This video was different, but, and that's what happens. And without further ado, I'll see y'all next time.